I've got the brand fever. All right, so now you understand how you make the grids, the different types. So let's look at the student interaction for a student ID list style grid. So the student would come to Flipgrid just like they always have, and they're gonna have to enter in their code. Select enter, and now they put in their password. So this is the password that you created when you set up the grid. It is one more step, but to me, again, it adds that safety level that we need, and it avoids the email, and it avoids the email at the end of our video submission, which to me, in the long run, this still saves time. So you just put in your ID or your uh, password, Say, let's go, and you can do the remember me if the student is on a device that they're gonna use all the time, so that gets even easier. Now they're in here. Remember that you're gonna pin the current topic up here at the top in your dashboard, so that your students, as the year goes on, you get more and more topics. You don't have to worry about them having to dig through them. Just pin it to the top, unpin the ones that you're no longer using uh, for that day. Now they go in here, they click on it. It is moderated, you can change that setting in your, your dashboard. We're gonna get ready to do our recording here. So just like we know, we always have the options now to open up different pieces of this. We can set up our topics. If there's a rubric, we can show that. We can look at the options to change and upload things. We can get our sticky notes set up so that we're planning our recordings and everything else. But we're ready here just to hit record. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm glad and hope you enjoy this video and I'm glad that you're here looking at it and I know that this is a great option for you to use. So give me some feedback if you're using it and tell me what maybe drawbacks you think you have if you have them, but I think you're gonna find this method really is an easy way for you to do things. You can add your title and remember here's where you can also use hashtags. So if you want them to hashtag their names so that you can filter things later, um, you can hashtag it for other pieces. And what that does is when all the videos show uh, in your topic space, you can click on a hashtag and it'll filter only those. But that's something that you can do here uh, within the title space. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. I can attach something. So if I have to turn in some work with it, I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Snap my selfie. Decorate it if I wanna decorate it. Click next and boom, I'm done. I don't have to fill out the stuff at the end or anything else. Now, obviously, since it's moderated, the teacher's gonna have to approve it before it's gonna show up, but you can change that setting if you want to. So even with my explanation, it was two minutes and something seconds here probably to do the whole thing. You save a little bit of time at the end by putting in that one password at the very beginning. That's the only difference. I think this is a great option and it does truly keep it where you do not have to give any personal student information, which to me is a big deal for our kids. So great job, Flipgrid. I love this method for student video creation and recording. Oh my God, Flipgrid.